I'm Squire Barnes. And I'm Yvonne Schell. For almost 70 years, the Burnaby Hospital has played center stage for its community, from births to deaths and everything in between. Burnaby Hospital has touched the lives of hundreds of thousands since its inception. I'm from Burnaby. I was born in that hospital, and I know this community well. And I'm from Burnaby as well. Built in the 1950s, the building has waged its fair share of battles, but always remained victorious. But behind its bruised and war-wounded walls lays an exceptional army of healthcare heroes. And now the time has come to transform this aging hospital into a world-class facility equipped to serve generations to come and outfitted with state-of-the-art equipment to match the incredible talents of its medical staff. During this special presentation, we will look at the incredible work doctors, surgeons, nurses, staff, and emergency personnel do to support the patients at Burnaby Hospital. We'll hear from philanthropists who all champion a new and vibrant building. And we're here from those visionaries who are driving change forward to see this immense and critical project come to fruition. Our program, Proud History, Bright Future, is presented by the Burnaby Firefighters Charitable Society, and we want to thank them for their support and contributions. Now let's learn about orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Tim Costomo, who has turned building limitations into innovation. Orthopedic surgery deals with uh, bones and joints primarily, so we deal with trauma. We also deal with arthritis problems. We also do a little bit of cancer surgery, but not very much. I'm Tim Costomo and I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I've been working here at Burnaby for 13 years. I've had six operations, so I, <laughs> and maybe that's why I eventually got into it, because I was a bit of a wild child. I do between four to 500 operations a year. Burnaby is actually a center of excellence for, for hip and knee replacement. Even though we're a smaller hospital in Fraser Health, we actually do the most total joint replacements in all of Fraser Health. So we develop these innovations in our technique because we have a smallish hospital, we have not a lot of ward space. We have hip replacement patients going home the same day, which is pretty revolutionary, which has been fantastic for the patients and, and enabled us to go from doing 400 total joints a year to doing 1,000 joints a year with no change in our ward space. For me as a surgeon, the new hospital and the new operating rooms are going to be amazing. So right now we have a, a smaller operating rooms. If you went to see the lights, you know, I hit my head almost every day on the lights because I'm tall. You know, we're cramped. If you come in the operating room, you'll see, you know, multiple tables with equipment. We're maneuvering everything pretty carefully to try to squeeze it into this, uh, this operating room. So for us to have a, a bigger space will be more efficient, it'll be safer for the patients. We're thinking five, ten years already down the line, so we're designing these things into our operating rooms now to be able to still be on the cutting edge in the future. I think we're super fortunate at Burnaby Hospital here because we have a, the human resource, the people are amazing. We're kind of a, I would say, a, a world-class team in a bit of an ancient hospital. One of our big innovations is, is developing daycare surgery for total joint replacements. People were staying four days before and now they're going home the same day. For the hips, we've been doing that for about, I think almost five years now. Uh, we were one of the first in BC. For the knees, we're just starting that. So I actually just did our first daycare total knee replacement uh, this summer. So that's exciting. That's something we're looking to the future to develop more of that in our knee replacements. I think in Fraser Health, we, we are a leader in, in, in total joint innovation. We have these meetings with the rest of the surgeons in, in Fraser Health, so we're talking about the things that we're doing and the things that we're learning, and there's always something to implement and something to innovate. We call it the, the constant quest for perfection. It's a good news job for the most part. I get to tell people that I can fix them and they're gonna do great. My hope for Burnaby Hospital is that we keep having, maintaining and growing a world-class team in terms of the people. And my hope is that we can be working in a world-class facility. Thank you, Dr. Costomo. We can't wait to see how this new build will impact orthopedics and so many other areas of the hospital. Donations made to the Burnaby Hospital are used to purchase the medical equipment and state-of-the-art technology needed to support doctors, surgeons, emergency personnel, 
and staff as they care for those in need. Now, Yvonne, it looks like you have some special guests with you in the studio. That's right, Squire. Before we get into conversation, we want to acknowledge one of our sponsors of Proud History, Bright Future, which is RBC. Now I have with me Christy James, CEO of the Burnaby Hospital Foundation and Chair of the Foundation, Steve McEwen. Thank you so much for joining us and being here today and sharing more about this incredible new development. Thank you so much for having us. We're really excited about this. Burnaby Hospital has left an indelible mark on the residents of Burnaby since its inception. Uh, but why is the redevelopment happening now? It's been 70 years since the hospital was built. Uh, the community came together and uh, put together an amazing facility for the time. But as with all infrastructure, you've got to keep your infrastructure up to date. And it's time now to uh, replace this um, hospital with a new facility that can uh, deliver the services that the city of Burnaby really needs. And what are some of the current challenges with the hospital? Well, obviously the space is an issue and we lost one of our buildings in November in the fire. Burnaby's ER is the second busiest ER in Fraser Health Authority. A lot of our patient rooms are shared with shared bathrooms, so that doesn't offer a lot of privacy or infection control measures. Um, so that's kind of our biggest areas of concern right now. What's the current phase of Burnaby Hospital's redevelopment right now, and how will this impact those who actually need care at this time? Care isn't going to be affected by the redevelopment. It's going to be improved by the redevelopment. And the redevelopment is going to happen in two phases. Uh, we're currently in phase one, and the foundation is raising $30 million towards that. And uh, Fraser Health and the province and our community has uh, stepped up for an amazing amount of funding for this hospital. And what will this new redevelopment provide? Well, the first stage is the six-story patient care tower, and that'll have a dedicated floor for the maternity department and NICU, as well as a dedicated floor for mental health and substance use. There'll be some new additional rooms in this new tower, and majority of the rooms will be private rooms with their own private bathrooms, which is very important. Also, the facility support building will be expanded out to Kincaid Street, and that'll include 10,000 square feet more for our emergency department, as well as four new ORs in our surgical services center as well. That's excellent and very exciting. The doctors, nurses, and staff at Burnaby Hospital are some of the best in their field. How will this new development improve their ability to provide care? We have an incredibly professional, talented, and diverse uh, staff at Burnaby Hospital, and we're incredibly proud of the work that they do. But we want them to have a facility that will allow them to provide all of the care that they know they can provide. And as a facility ages, it just gets more difficult to provide the care to the standard that they would like to do. And so putting this new facility in place will allow a delivery of care at Burnaby Hospital, which will be the kind of care that the citizens of Burnaby really need. And how can people donate? best way is to go to our website, bhfoundation.ca, and on there is listed all the different ways that people can support us. Thank you so much, Christy and Steve, for joining us today. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And let's take a look at Burnaby Hospital's bright future.
Up next, a father-daughter team making a huge impact in emergency room medicine. I'm Dr. Brian McGowan. I'm an emergency physician here at Burnaby Hospital. It's a wonderful place to work. I grew up near to this hospital. My wife's family lives here and we're treated here for various things. When I first came here, the foundation had a slogan, the human touch, you know, and I thought that was really nice. Throughout my time here, we've been able to retain that emotional connection to our place, our work, our larger family here. My daughter is a pediatric emergency physician as well. My name is Zoe McGowan. I'm an emergency physician. I work at Burnaby Hospital and at BC Children's. Yeah, I guess I followed in his footsteps pretty closely, actually. It's impressive to come and see what he's done. For me, he's been my mentor through my career. The reason I really like ER was that it had little bits of everything. Being in the ER, you get to see everything every day and there's always at least some of the patients where they come in with a problem that you can solve. There's good satisfaction with that. Staff at Burnaby are amazing. There's uh, great collegiality between the nursing staff and the physicians. Even the cleaning and other staff, they're, they're all part of it. This hospital is known as a community hospital with personal connections throughout it. In emergency medicine, you have to be flexible. You have to be creative um, a lot of the time to figure out ways to fix problems that maybe aren't something that was in a textbook. You have to be able to deal with situations where you don't have all the information in front of you um, and do what you can to the best of your ability. This emergency was designed to accommodate about 50,000 visits a year. We see 80,000 and within the next five to 10 years, we'll probably be over 100,000 visits per year. You'll see equipment stored in various cubby holes and here and there and everywhere and sometimes it's hard to find. Part of what makes Burnaby Burnaby is that we make it work. So it does work, it does function, but it certainly is too small for what it is doing. You have to realize every patient that comes in comes in with one or two other people as well and we're completely invested in wanting to have the loved ones participate in the care decisions being made but when you have a very tight space it often affects the, our ability to do that. I think we're all really excited that the emergency is going to be part of the uh, new build. With the growing population that's here, it deserves a facelift. It deserves to be kind of brought into the century a little more. If people have the ability to contribute to the foundation as it tries to raise 30 million for this first phase of a 600 plus million dollar project, then it'd really be money well spent. I know a lot of people kind of go out and try different places, but I really like Burnaby. This is where I always plan to work. Hello, I'm Dr. Barbara Moon, Provost of Alexander College. We have just celebrated the grand opening of our new campus. As part of the festivities, we announced a $1 million contribution to the Burnaby Hospital Foundation for new medical equipment. This donation is on behalf of all students, faculty and staff of Alexander College. As we all know, healthcare workers are important contributors to our community. They care for us and they care for our loved ones. We invite you to join us in supporting the transformation of Burnaby Hospital. Each year, Burnaby Hospital Foundation awards four recipients with a specific philanthropy award. Let's take a moment to hear from these individuals and why they support the new vision for Burnaby Hospital. I'm an emergency physician here at Burnaby Hospital. I've been here since 2005 and I've always noticed a strong culture of teamwork amongst the staff here at Burnaby. And so when you get to work, you're excited to see what comes in. You're excited to see who you can help in the community and maybe change your life in some small way. Having this redevelopment come to our site will be one of the most single, most transformative things that will occur in Burnaby, at least during my lifetime. The campaign that we're running for the Burnaby Hospital Medical Staff Association is to donate a million dollars together. And when the public sees that medical staff are donating towards their own cause, I think that's a very powerful image. And I think it inspires the public to see that this is an important thing that it needs attention and they can also join in. This is kind of an opportunity to build something that will last for generations, that will help countless people. And to be just a small part of that in a meaningful way is just amazing. To be named Physician of the Year is a deep honor. I'm very humbled. I think it bestows a lot of credit for the whole team. 
and the amount of work and effort that we put here every day to support our patients. Thank you to the community of Burnaby and the province of British Columbia for stepping up and supporting us. It's gonna help us in so many ways, more than I can imagine right now. The values of Caltech, quality of products, uh, transparency of management, and returning back to the society. The Lee families are very generous. Uh, they made a, a donation to the Hospital Foundation. Mr. Lee, it's a very uh, renowned entrepreneur in the China market. Both uh, Mr. Lee and Mrs. Lee, Anna, are very caring to their employees. Um, they learn to give and return back to the community and society and bring people to enjoy life together. So being able to contribute to that foundation makes us feel honored and part of the city. And we feel honored to be awarded with the corporate citizenship. We hope have a longer term opportunity to make a sustained contributions in the long run. The staff and doctors at Burnaby General Hospital, they give their all, they're excellent, and I'm so proud that they choose to work and live in Burnaby. It's a very difficult job, and as people who rely on them, I thank them for their dedication to our health and the health of the greater community. I hope that they're proud of what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, and I hope one day we give them something that they can be proud of showing up for work every day as well. I think it'll be a big sense of accomplishment that we finally have a facility that everyone who visits works, deserves. My family has been awarded the Keith and Betty Beatty Award for Leadership in Philanthropy. I'm thankful for the award and I hope that it inspires others to give what they can. It's not about how much you give, it's the thought behind it and what we achieve together. Burnaby, like the rest of the Lower Mainland, is going through a major, major growth. We know that there's going to be a million more people living in the region uh, within the next 20 years or so. So it's important that we meet those needs. Burnaby Hospital when it was built. There was about 75,000 people who lived in the city and right now we have 240,000. We're so glad that the, the government is investing 1.4 billion to do a total overhaul of the hospital. We really have an amazing staff there. Now it's time for the building and the equipment to catch up. It's a real honor because I knew Dr. Hill really well. He was incredibly dedicated to the hospital and to his patients. And for me to receive an award in his name is very humbling. I just want to be part of the big effort that's being made by so many in the community and be part of the solution so that Burnaby residents get the hospital they deserve. Just want to thank the residents of Burnaby, all the businesses that have donated so far. It's your hospital, and that's how I always look at it. So please, if you can't afford to give, please give. Hi, I'm Mike Fox. I love going up to Burnaby. It was, it was a great place when I was a kid. There was, there was Deer Lake, there was a uh, skating rink, um, and, and, and there were just other institutions of, of the town, whether it was City Hall or whatever, but you, just, you, you get familiar and you took it for granted. And, um, and the hospital was like that. Where the hospital? I, as I think about it, um, I was there so many times. I was there, I was there at least three times for hockey cuts, stitches. And so I was excited to hear that this new renovation project, this new rebuilding, rededicating, reinvesting, re-energizing the hospital is happening. And, 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 and I can be more in support of it. It's just great. And I think that we have to, we have to value and treasure our, 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 our hospitals. I, we saw front line here in, in the States and, and there at home too, that, that uh, our, our public health is very fragile. And, and to have something as strong and, and, and powerful and meaningful as Burnaby Hospital as part of the community is just vital. And now a special message from our fundraising cabinet chair, Bill McCarthy. Good evening, my name is Bill McCarthy. Thank you for joining us tonight for the Burnaby Hospital Foundation virtual gala. I'm very proud to be a Burnaby resident. I was born here, I've raised my family here, and my business operates from here. We have a world-class medical team serving this community, and shortly we'll have a world-class facility for them to do so in. Please show your support, and thank you for being with us tonight. Hi, I'm Ryan Beatty, President of Beatty Development. My family is proud to support the Burnaby Hospital Foundation. Burnaby holds a very special place in our hearts. My parents called this city home for more than 60 years. For a community to be vibrant, we believe it must be healthy and we know high quality medical care plays a crucial role in achieving this. 
Now, more than ever, my family is committed to ensuring that everyone in our community has access to a state-of-the-art hospital right here in Burnaby. Thank you to each and every one of you for sharing your stories and messages with us. In addition to medical equipment, donations made to the Burnaby Hospital will go towards expanding the current ER by 10,000 square feet and even providing single room spaces for new families in the maternity centre. These are much needed and every dollar counts. You can make your donation at bhfoundation.ca forward slash donate. Plus, secure your 50-50 tickets at bhfoundation.rafflenexus.com. Now, Squire, it looks like you have some friendly faces with you in studio. I do, Yvonne. Thank you very much. I have two great guys here, Burnaby Firefighters, Scott Allen, Doug Petty. Right. Thanks for joining us, gentlemen. And they are here to talk about the Burnaby Firefighters Charitable Society and helping Burnaby Hospital. Tell us about your involvement. The Burnaby Hospital Foundation began in 1982 and we've been a part of supporting our hospital since then. Recently, um, through our fundraising initiatives, we've donated and committed $25,000 for 10 years. And we've also donated $250,000 to the hospital to uh, support their other initiatives besides their uh, charitable gala. We've always had a great relationship with the, the staff of the hospital and um, they've also been there to support some of our initiatives through our charitable society. So our, our relationship is very deep seated. Yeah, you guys work together a lot of times. Yes. How good are those people working in a hospital that probably isn't where it should be right now as far as equipment and it's building itself? How good are they? Yeah, everybody I've met with at the hospital are very intelligent and caring people and uh, they're doing the best with the resources they have and it's going to be more than wonderful to see them have a, a new resource and a new facility and uh, just to be able to take all that enthusiasm that they have for their job and apply it under uh, better conditions. How much better will their lives be and the people that they're helping with the improvements of the hospital? The hospital is getting older now and uh, the equipment's aged as well. So um, just the newer facilities give you access to newer equipment, um, newer ways to treat patients. I think it's just all in all, it's, it's, it's a win-win situation for the city and for the employees. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it important to support your local hospital? Well, I think uh, any hospital in any community is a pillar of that community. It's where you go when you're sick. It's where you go to have joy when somebody has a baby. So it's a part of everybody's lives. Um, we don't always want to go there, but it's nice to know that when you do need a hospital, that you have a great hospital with great people, and that's what uh, Burnaby General is. And part of phase one is to focus on mental health. How important is that? Melissa's frontline workers' mental health is kind of on the forefront of our occupation. We as firefighters, we, we feel that is a big part of our health and well-being is to make sure you have your mental health check-ins and that you have your peer-to-peer -peer support and that um, you, know, you develop some type of resiliency towards what you might experience on the job. And I think the same echoes for, for the community too. I mean, COVID-19 has really tested the community's resiliency. We see there is an increase in, in mental health calls and sadly, addiction is also a part of that mental health uh, triangle. And having the hospital so close and, and really the foundation of our community will make sure that our citizens are looked after from generations from here on out. Mm -hmm. Scott, Doug, thanks very much for coming in. Really appreciate it. And really appreciate the work you guys do too. Thanks, Squire. Thank appreciate much. having us. Thank, Thank you, you, Squire. Proud history, bright future could not be possible without our amazing sponsors, including our presenting sponsor, the Burnaby Firefighters Charitable Society. As mentioned at the start of our program, the Burnaby Hospital has played a critical part in the birth and deaths of its community. Let's watch as Lindsay and Mike Twaits share their family's health journey. We were supposed to be getting married December 28th, which was seven days after Noah was born. We obviously had to change that because Noah came early. When I was pregnant with Noah, at about 30 weeks, I developed premature rupture of the membranes. Basically, my water broke early. At 31 weeks, I delivered Noah. He was just over four pounds when he was born. Holding on to Noah, I could pretty much hold him in you know, the palm of my hand. I got a call around 10 p.m. Mike said, we're getting transferred, and can you meet me at Burnaby Hospital? Mike and I had been sort of living at BC Children's. 
One of us would sleep over with Noah and the other would go home. I'm, you know, on the phone with Lindsay. You know, she's asking me, where should I meet you? And I'm trying to follow the stretcher as they're weaving through the hallways of the hospital. It was like midnight. We walked right through emergency and it was busy and hopping and kind of looking at that and then coming down into, you know, through the different floors to get to the NICU. I had no idea where we were. I finally made it to the door and um, there was this nurse who met me there and I was so scared and unsure and she was just this calming, kind presence who brought me in and explained how things worked and just really made me feel like things were going to be okay. It was quite shocking to come from BC Children's here. The facilities are definitely older. The NICU is a lot smaller. You don't have your own room. The staffing was amazing. As soon as we got in, they were answering any questions that we had. We knew that Noah was gonna be in the best hands possible. We were at Burnaby for a full month. I think making a new maternity and NICU area of the hospital will be fantastic. The facilities will match the skill and the care that's provided here. I think one of the biggest things is getting that care that all of their kids need. They're getting amazing care there and the nurses there are awesome, but some of their equipment is lacking from you know our experience at Children's to here and them having that state-of-the-art equipment would just make it even better. Mike and I's hope for Noah is that he keeps growing and keeps getting stronger and finds joy in life. We're excited for Christmas this year because last year we actually started a tradition of making care packages for the Burnaby NICU. I think if you were considering donating to Burnaby Hospital, first of all, I would say thank you. By giving a gift, you're helping families like us and kids like Noah to have a future. Having Noah prematurely was definitely a challenge, but it brought me and Mike even closer and solidified our life as a family. Hi, I'm Duncan Larchak, Chief of Staff of the Yanni Group. At Yanni, we've been building communities for over 50 years, including right at home here in Burnaby. The growth we've seen in the city has been tremendous. At Yanni alone, we're building well over 5,000 new homes, including right here in Gilmore Place. We all know that one of the best parts of living in Canada is access to world-class healthcare, and Burnaby is no different. Burnaby citizens deserve a world-class facility. This is why we're committing $150,000 to the campaign for the expansion at Burnaby General Hospital. We look forward to working with the community to deliver this vital piece of infrastructure and help Burnaby continue being one of the best cities in Canada. This half-hour program has been jam-packed with stories of the Burnaby community and the indelible print the current hospital and healthcare workers have had on those that need care. With donations, Burnaby Hospital Foundation can support the purchase of not only the cost of the rebuild, but the much needed cost of equipment to outfit the new hospital. And it takes a village, and we thank you for supporting the significant transformation of the Burnaby Hospital. The information to donate is on the screen below. This has been a great half hour, and this is also going to be such a super project for the city of Burnaby. I agree. A facility to match the talent that is already there is so needed. There is still time to give. Support the bright future of Burnaby Hospital. Make your donation today at bhfoundation.ca forward slash donate. And win big. Get your 50-50 tickets at bhfoundation.rafflenexus.com. Thank you for joining us for Burnaby Hospital's Proud History, Bright Future. Thanks and bye for now. Bye.